It's time for the Wikipad. It's time for Retro Gaming. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector! Welcome back to a new video! It's time for the Wikipad! We're going to play some retro games! Let's see if the device is compatible and let's see how it runs. Is this the ultimate device for retro gaming? Let's find out! Let's go! Right, let's try the analog stick. Yeah. Hmm. What the hell? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Multi kill. Very nice bottom response, very nice. Yes, you want to invite us for a cake? Mm, yes, we like the peach cake. Yes. Let's -a go! Bring it on, people. Bring it on. Let's see how it runs. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Nice. 
joystick or the sorry the d-pad is very responsive i must say for fighting games the analog stick at the left side is very, very sensitive so not perfect for playing games like this all right this game is perfect for the analog stick let's see really getting used to it That plays fine, that plays fine. Hello? Somebody there? Oh yeah, time for some Crash Bandicoot. I didn't have the D-pad. Again, I forgot it. Whatever. Let's play with that unlock stick. Oh, great! I can't take it anymore! Oh. Machine gun! <laughs> Ooh, the breaths. Yes. What's up? Oh. How do you throw the grenades? Oh, this is how. Sorry guys, I can't help myself. I always need to play the game. I'm totally addicted to my favorite game. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite game. Okay. Yep. I do. Oh, oh, that sounds pretty damn horrible. It's getting better. Yep, alright. Sound is great, man. That sound. <laughs> You can hear the sound is pretty good on this device.
The stick is very, very, very sensitive. The D-pad is very stiff, so for finding games, it's possible, but I don't like it at all, to be honest. Okay, let's check the analog stick, because this one is too responsive. No, 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 it's just... As you can see, it's so responsive that you need to have all the control in the right position. So playing fighting games on this thing is no go to me. Whoa, I can do a move. I've got the letter! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so I'm giving him one frame skip because it went pretty poor. I downgraded all the settings, so I'm trying to make this light as possible for the device. Alright, let's see. Twelve frames, forty frames. Wow. Okay, let's see if I can tweak it a little bit to getting more better performance in the game. All right, so I think I closed every tab. I downgraded the full system, even give him some frame script. Yeah, and I just change it, but give it one, or let's say let's give him two frame scripts, and let's see. But it doesn't have any effect to the system itself. So if you want to play P Speed, forget about it. Forget about it. Give this damn thing six frames, please. It doesn't even matter what you do, it's it's not getting any better. It's not getting any better. So it's a little bit of a bummer, 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 bummer. No. Noop, 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 noop. And now even if you put it all... Wow, 60 frames. So people, for final conclusion regarding VP speed, is not working at all. Forget it, forget it, forget it. All right, so the question remains, is this a good portable device or a fun product to play some retro games? I think it do. PSP, it's a bummer that doesn't work, but keep in mind, it's 
from 2013. So even if we with this Nvidia Tegra chip that was really powerful back in the day, it has its limitations. It's pretty old, man. It's prehistoric if you look at the technology nowadays. But still, maybe you can get find it for cheap and enjoy some games. You have a seven-inch screen, so it's pretty cool, pretty wide, pretty huge, and some games like PHP doesn't work, but all the other stuff runs just fine. All right, one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for more awesome wicked content, and see you next time. Bye bye.